morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to, to speak today. Um, so my name is, is Antoine de Corbière, as, and as Rio Tinto Group's uh, Vice President, I oversee sales and trading of our O&R products uh, globally. Um, I'm passionate about commodities. That's, um, that's the field that I've uh, worked for for 20 years. Um, so covering the broad and diverse uh, range of the Aino portfolio for Rio Tinto um, is humbling and, and rewarding. Um, enables me to understand the far-reaching impact that our portfolio has in building our current position and, and going forward. Um, so today, I'm, I'm looking forward to delving deeper into discussions about the role Rio Tinto can play in, um, in shaping our own portfolio for the future. Before I, um, before I continue, please note the um, cautionary statements on, on this slide. Um, so, at Rio Tinto, our purpose is, is to find better ways to supply uh, the materials the world needs. Um, we continue to position Rio Tinto as a partner of choice for both traditional and new customer bases globally, providing best-in-class technical support and consistently delivering um, the right product at the right time. We also committed in assisting our customers on their decarbonization journey and driving innovation, especially considering that the world will likely need more iron ore in the next 20 years that we have used in the, in the last 30. Turning to our portfolio, our current, our current operating assets of IOC and the PIBRA make us the largest iron ore exporter in the industry today. Our future is underpinned by the strength of our resource base. In Australia, Rhodes Ridge is the best undeveloped project in the Pilbara. We have approved a pre-feasibility study to progress the development. In Guinea, Simendu is the best undeveloped project outside Australia. We continue to make progress to unlock the exceptional Simendu high-grade iron ore project. As the steel industry decarbonizes, the, the, these deposits are set to provide us with the resource options that we need to respond to the future direction of the industry. Last year, our global portfolio supplied lower, mid, and high-grade iron ore products to 18 different countries. Our geographic spread across Australia, Guinea, and Canada, position, and Canada. This position as well for the iron making and steel making centers of the future. Our marine and logistics activities connect our products with our customers. And these include a charter fleet of 230 vessels at any point in time, as well as 17 of our own vessels. We place significant volumes through our China portside operation, which extends our customer base to small and medium-sized mills and provides supply chain optionality for the Pilbara, including the screening and blending of products. Our clients are diverse in their commercial needs, including product, order timing, price risk, and capital needs. With our portside platform, not only do we give greater flexibility to our operations in the Pilbara, but also enable us to serve our customers better by upgrading our products, parcelating in small orders in, and, develop, and delivering just in time. We are extending our portside capacity and capabilities in 2024 and 2025. I move to um, the Pilbara region of Western Australia. We own a world-class um, asset, integrated networks of 17 mines, four independent port terminals, a rail network spanning nearly 2,000 kilometers, and related infrastructure, all designed to respond rapidly to changes in demand. 
Our integrated iron ore network is supported by our operations center in Perth, a state-of-the-art facility that enables all the autonomous trucks, trains, and drills at our mines, port, and rail systems to be operated from a single location. In 2019, um, we launched the world's first automated heavy oil rail network, named Auto Hall. Um, capable of moving about a million tons of iron ore a day. Auto haul improves safety by reducing risk at level crossings and through automated responses to speed restrictions and alarms, eliminating the need to transport drivers to and from trains mid-journey. This saves the most 1.5 million kilometers of road travel every year. About 80% of our whole truck fleet across our Pilbara sites is also autonomous. These trucks, which use predefined GPS courses to automatically navigate whole roads and intersections, and which continuously track actual locations, speeds, and directions of the vehicles, allow us to move more material more efficiently and safely, increasing ultimately the productivity of our assets. The Pilbara, mine, the Pilbara blend mines produce a range of grades, and no one mine produces Pilbara, Pilbara blend on um, its own. With about eight trains to a PB stockpile built, decisions are made in scheduling and execution to blend together the right combination of trains to produce PB quality and maintain a consistent product. Lastly, you will note on the map, on the bottom um, left, um, the location of our Rose Ridge project, which sits adjacent to our existing rail line in the East Pilbara. It is the best undeveloped project deposit in the Pilbara and has the potential to be significantly larger than any of our existing hubs and offers the opportunity to both realize our port capacity and simplify our business. We um, have a proven record of quality and consistency when it comes to our products. Customers value the consistency and liquidity of our products, which make it easier to manage the blood furnace burden mix. Pibra brand was introduced in 2007 and is our flagship long-term strategy product. Reliable, liquid, baseload in China, and a key reference for the 62 um, FE indices. Yendi Kujina finds, which we have been producing since 98, provide the baseloads for large, quality-sensitive mills in Japan. They are premium mid-grade fines product, low in phosphorus and alumina, which carry signs to high FE. Our Rob Valley products, which steel mills have relied on since the 70s, are recognized for their very low phosphorus levels and sold principally in Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. SP10 fines and lump were introduced in 2014 to enable further operational and product flexibility. They are low cost, support the Pilbara brand quality, and extend our China customer base. SP10 levels are expected to remain elevated for the next few years as we work through the next trench of mine replacement projects. Lump um, is a significant value driver in our portfolio, and Rio Tinto is the largest lump producer, accounting for more than 30% of seaborne supply. From a steel mill perspective, expanding lump consumption avoids the cost and carbon emissions of sintering. It provides a proven, a reliable pathway to reduce iron-making CO2 emissions using existing technologies. A 
lump ratio in the blast furnace, blast furnace burden mix, combined with pellet and HBI, reduces CO2 emissions by almost 20% compared to suboptimal burden mixes. In addition, and contrary to popular belief, we have also partnered with customers to demonstrate that higher lump ratios in the blast furnace burden mix do not necessarily require higher coke ratios, nor do they affect PCI rates. So, Rio Tinto is well positioned to be a partner of choice for our customers with our diversified or body portfolio in grade and across geography. Shaping our portfolio for the future in a thoughtful and responsible manner is a commitment to all our stakeholders, which includes you, our customers, and partners. One rewarding aspect of my role is that I get the opportunity to hear the voice of our customers directly, and their message is quite clear. They are increasingly telling us that one, they want quality and consistency in delivery of our oil products. Second, they want us to help them finding better ways to advance their decarbonization by providing low carbon materials, the right materials needed for the energy transition. And third, they want support on decarbonizing their own processes, which is our scope three. As you would have heard from my colleague Simon Ferry yesterday, to address our customers' decarbonization needs, we're investing more in our current and future growth projects to ensure a healthy pipeline for supply. We are committed to pursuing decarbonization solutions, such as advancing steel decarbonization pathways to help our customers decarbonize their own processes and to future-proof our iron ore business. We look forward to more innovation and closer collaboration with all our customers, communities, and partners. Finding better ways together is essential for us to build resilient supply chains that will enable us to diversify our portfolio to thrive in a world that absolutely needs them for a sustainable future. Thank you for your time today and, and listening, and wish you a good rest of the day. Thank you.